गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास टेन एज आई एम सेंग आर्लियर के विल डिस्कस ह्यूमन आई डिफेक्ट सो लेट्स रिकैप्चर द थिंग्स वॉट वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न दैट इज ऑल अबाउट ह्यूमन आई द ह्यूमन आई इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट वैल्यूएबल एंड सेंसिटिव ऑर्गन एज वी नो ऑलरेडी इट एनेबल्स आस टू सी द वंडरफुल वर्ल्ड एंड कलर अराउंड आस वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई ऑब्जेक्ट्स टू सम एक्सटेंट बाई देयर स्मेल टेस्ट साउंड दे मेक by the feeling or touching it so but we cannot identify the colors when eyes are closed human eye works on the principle of refraction of light because we know human eye has a biological lens in front of it so it works on the principle of refraction of light main part of human eye are already we know they they are cornea iris pupil ciliary muscle eye lens retina and optic nerve the eyeball is approximately 2.3 cm in diameter that much knowledge we are having and in previous slide already we know little bit about the diagram so cornea is the convex surface of the human eye and then pupil is that uh, narrow opening through which light comes and falls on the convex lens now through that it comes to falls on the retina means retin uh, basically on retina we are having a uh, sensation of vision and optic nerve catches the sensation reinvert the image and we can see the object in our brain now one thing i will want to uh, say again that is here we are getting a inverted image now in our brain we are getting re inverted image means whatever the erect image in front of us the brain can see, uh, see the same erect image but actually in retina we are having an inverted image that much knowledge we are having from our past lives now what is the problem so cornea iris the pupil ciliary muscle uh, eye lens retina uh, optic nerve uh, this all things we know now coming for the discussion of power of accommodation now as the name suggested accommodation what does it mean see in madhyamik uh, or in board question this um, uh, there is a definition came what do you mean by accommodation of human eye so in that case that will be your answer the answer is uh, basically eye lens composed of what jelly like material okay which is called fibrous so this jelly like material it is basically a curvature okay all of us we know because if i see the structure again let's see the structure again if i see the structure it's completely a transparent jelly like substance remember that and it is made up of what fibrous and uh, this curvature can be modified how i said earlier uh, side that it can be modified by ciliary muscle ciliary muscle or ciliary that uh, ciliary um, uh, that uh, muscle type uh, tendon types of threads are there so which can control it means this part i am telling again let's see the picture so this part that ciliary muscle both the sides are thin uh, see in that diagram it is written so we are talking about this ciliary muscle so if ciliary muscle we are stretching the ciliary muscle the lens will be thin one if we are uh, contracting the ciliary muscle lens will be a thick one so the change in the curvature of the eye lens can be lead to the change of the focal length as we know that more power see here today morning shagoto is telling about that ma'am what about the thickness of the lens with the power yes more the power more the thickness of the lens so if you are dealing with the same type of glass now the ability of eye lens to adjust its focal length means the eye lens can adjust its focal length means suppose uh, i am having you know me very well uh, so i am having a spectacle in my eyes so i can't adjust as per my wish uh, my focal length but the students who don't have any spectacles they can adjust their eye lens as per the wish so e uh, if they can adjust their focal length that is called accommodation so when the muscles are relaxed the lens become thin and focal length what increases so if lens is very much thin focal length will be increases on the other hand 
if you are squeezing the eyes making it thicker the lens will be focal length will be decreases so this is the structure actually see in the front part of the eye there is a small red color funnel where a red liquid is there now through that eye when it is coming uh, inside my uh, retina we are getting a inverted image of that clear so what is happening see here in front of the eye we are having a arrow so we are getting a um, inverted structure of that same arrow and diminished structure now let's see how does the eye works already i said but just recapitulation so it will be easier to understood the eye defect let's see the light ray when falls from the object kept in front of the cornea uh, enter to, uh, through the pupil to the cornea and pass through the pupil the eye lens is a convex lens so obviously it always converts the light ray on retina the retina has a large number of light sensitive cell as we know let's see the retina once again so if i see the retina once again it has a large number of cell you can see that it is full of that liquid transparent liquid or vitreous um, aqueous humor type of liquid and inside the liquid they are having bunch of optic nerve which help us to sense the uh, sensitive uh, sense the vision or sense the light so that is the um, good part of this so the retina has a large number of light sensitive cell when the image falls on the retina then these light sensitive cells get activated just it works like that simple camera sensor remember that in simple camera if uh, light falls on the sensor then sensor get activated and when the light cells get activated it sends electric signal to the brain the image formed on the retina is conveyed to the brain by optic nerve and gives rise of sensation of vision now coming for defect of vision now this is this what we are discussing that is the normal case when we don't have any spectacle don't have any eye eye defect now sometimes it happens we are having various eye defect uh, because how because we can't accommodate our lens means we have gradually lose the power of accommodation of eye means some of us can't thick the th make thick the lens some some of us can't make thin the lens some of us uh, can't uh, see the color so some of us can't see the axis properly so these are the eye defect so the person cannot see object distinctly and comfortably so the vision become very much blurred due to refractive defect in eye there are mainly three types of defects here in our syllabus they are myopia or near sightness it uh, in other word it is called short sightness hypermetropia or long sightness or far sightness and presbyopia one after another i am discussing so first going for myopia uh, in my next slide i am continuing this part because already 8 minute pass on thank you